Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we're going to go over the air conditioning and refrigeration cycle. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and let's get straight into it. Here is a diagram of a air conditioning unit and specifically this is a split system but the principles shown in this video can be used for air conditioning or refrigeration systems of any kind. Let's begin by going over our four major components beginning with one, our compressor, two, our condenser, three, our metering device, and four, our evaporator. To make this diagram a bit easier to read, let's follow our arrows and also go by our color code. As you can see, this color here represents high pressure gas. This one represents high pressure liquid. This one represents low pressure liquid and this one represents low pressure gas. Let's begin our lesson with our compressor. Our compressor is also known as a vapor pump. Entering our compressor, we have a low pressure gas, specifically a low pressure, low temperature, superheated vapor. A vapor and a gas is the same thing, I just prefer to use the word vapor. So leaving our compressor, if we follow our color code, we have a high pressure gas, specifically a high temperature, high pressure, superheated vapor. To keep things simple and summarize, we enter our compressor as a low pressure vapor and we exit as a high pressure vapor. Next, we can move on to our second major component and that is our condenser. Our condenser is a component where we reject heat. The most typical types of condensers are air-cooled, and that is nothing more than a copper coil with aluminum fins and a fan used to reject heat. That fan is used to blow air across our condenser coil and reject heat. There are also water-cooled models available on the market. So our condenser is a component used to reject heat. We are entering our condenser as a high-pressure gas. Specifically, a high temperature, high pressure, superheated vapor. At about midpoint of our coil, our refrigerant is saturated. At this point, we have something known as latent heat of condensation. Latent heat is the change of state, but not the change of temperature. As you can see, we enter as a high pressure gas, and we are leaving as a high temperature liquid. Specifically, a high temperature, high pressure, superheated vapor. Then we change state and we become a high temperature, high pressure, subcooled liquid. To learn more about what is superheat and subcooling, I will link a video in the video's description. Now that we know the state of the refrigerant entering and leaving the condenser, it's an also important to note the names of the pipes. So specifically, the pipe leaving your compressor and also entering your condenser is known as your discharge line. Leaving your condenser and also entering your metering device, the name of that pipe is your liquid line. Refrigerant then travels and continues the path and we enter our third major component to a air conditioning or refrigeration system and that is our metering device. In this diagram, we have a thermal expansion valve. Here we have a pressure drop. If we follow our color code, you can see we are entering as a high pressure liquid and we are leaving as a low pressure liquid. Our metering device is what separates the system from high to low. So as you can see, our condenser, we are either a high pressure gas or liquid. And for our evaporator, we are either a low pressure liquid or gas. So this is our low side and this is our high side. Refrigerant continues down the cycle and we enter our fourth major component and that is our evaporator. Our evaporator is just a coil just like our condenser which is made out of copper with aluminum fins alongside a fan which blows air across it where in the evaporator we absorb heat compared to the condenser where we reject heat. If we pay attention closely we are entering as a low pressure liquid and at about midpoint, our refrigerant is saturated and we have what is known as latent heat of vaporization, where we have a change of state from a liquid 
and into a gas. The pipe leaving our evaporator and entering our compressor is also known as our suction line. Our suction line, we are a low pressure gas. Specifically, we are a low pressure, low temperature, superheated vapor. Since this is a diagram of an air conditioning unit, our evaporator is typically indoors and this is where we have cool air being blown across. Our condenser is typically outdoors and this is where we have hot air being blown across. That is in reference to this diagram where we have a split system where we have an outdoor condensing unit and an indoor air handler. Keep in mind this can be all contained in one unit which is also known as a package unit. There you have the air conditioning and refrigeration cycle. Let's go over this one last time in simple terms. The pipe entering the compressor is our suction line. Our suction line, we are a low pressure gas. Leaving the compressor, we have our discharge line and our discharge line, we are a high pressure gas. Entering our condenser, we have latent heat of condensation where we change state from a high pressure gas and into a high pressure liquid. Leaving the condenser is our liquid line. Our liquid line then enters our metering device and we have a pressure drop where we go from a high pressure liquid to a low pressure liquid. Then as we travel along we enter our evaporator where we have latent heat of vaporization, where we change state from a low pressure liquid into a low pressure gas. Leaving our evaporator, we once again have our suction line where we are a low pressure gas. And as you continue, the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats and everyone is happy. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.